Minnie has a new group of students. Her three pups. Daughter Riley. And her two bigger brothers, Bo and Sawyer. German Shepherds often have up to nine pups. Minnie's only got three, which means they'll get triple the love. Their tiny ears and mostly black coats don't look very German Shepherd-like, but that will change over the next few weeks. At five days old, they're barely bigger than mom's paw. These pups could grow to be 100 pounds, and with a little time and training, they can grow up to be teachers like their mom. For these pups, school starts today. Their first lesson is getting used to human contact. Riley on the left and her brother Bo are as cool as cucumbers. But Sawyer is a different story. He's proving to be quite a handful. Luckily, he's got plenty of time to learn. Teaching good behavior is what Minnie does best. But with little Sawyer, even she may have her paws full. A more experienced mom is tending to her new puppies. Roxy is the proud mom of her third litter. She had six pups last time, so triplets should be half the work. Or so she hopes. Two girls, Francie and Madison, and the only boy, Woodrow. Already girl power means little brother Woodrow is out in the cold. Dalmatians are the only spotted purebred dog. But these pups seem to have something missing. Dalmatian pups are born with white coats and their spots develop over time. At six days, some faint spots are making their mark. The three-week-old pups are learning how to get around. As they explore their surroundings, this pack sticks close together. In the middle of the action is Buttermilk, the outgoing pup who makes sure he's well-known by all. But not everyone can work a room like Buttermilk. Shy Snowflake isn't exactly the social butterfly. Maybe a new visitor will shake things up a bit. Today is a big day. Mom and Dad are introducing Pipsqueak to the rest of their cuddly clan. Pipsqueak says hello. The only way she knows how. For goats, headbutting is a playful way to greet other members of the pack. But the greeting doesn't go over so well. Not even Buttermilk is willing to go out of his way to introduce himself. She sure is different. While little Pipsqueak is eager to play, just watching her is enough to exhaust the pups. So for now, 
she'll have to find ways to amuse herself. It seems their wobbly legs have to work harder to hold up all that extra... puppy. The eight pups are starting to puzzle out their place in the puppy hierarchy. It can be tough to stand out in this crowd, but Klondike has found a way. His song is contagious. <coughs> to everyone except Tundra, she isn't one to follow the crowd. Like wolves, Malamutes communicate with howls. The howl of an adult can carry as far as six miles operating as a GPS system for a scattered pack. The pack leader sounds off most frequently. After five of the pups drop out of the competition, Avalanche and his rival Klondike think they've got the pipes to be top dog. The howl off is on. With one big bellow, Avalanche has the last word. At least Klondike's not a sore loser. Avalanche won this round, but there are more challenges to come in the race to be pack leader. It's been three weeks since the mini Aussies first set foot outside, and they're much bolder explorers now. special guest is coming over to watch the pups. It's their dad, Swagger, who they're meeting for the first time. So far, dad's got it under control. It's not hard when the pups amuse themselves. But not everyone here is so low maintenance. Little look-alike Finn wants Dad's attention. And he's not taking no for an answer. Sometimes it takes a son to remind Dad how to play. Everyone's tuckered out from a fun day with Dad. Especially Dad. Before long, Zeta's flock of eight all begin to settle down for a nap. But someone's still awake. Independent little magic has no interest in sleeping. Or letting anyone else sleep. <coughs> Nap time is taken pretty seriously around here. But magic doesn't give up easily. 
No luck so far with Penny. Or Duff. But magic is persistent. And she won't quit until she's roused every member of the litter. Satisfied with her hard work, Magic finds the perfect spot to finally give it a rest. Mom loves her stories and can get really sucked into the drama. While most pups this age spend up to 15 hours a day sleeping, <laughs> little Coco is not most pups. It's become a serious dilemma for Moxie. for small favors. With a little help, Mom can have her cake and watch it, too. Isabel takes a break to get some fresh air, leaving the pups with an unusual babysitter. Although it looks comfy, staying in one place can be a bit tricky. Still, these pups are determined to make it work. After a little trial, a little error, and a helping hand, they finally managed to settle into a groove. <laughs> <laughs> 